now to a sigh of relief for students at Concordia University. Just weeks ago, the school was set to close amid financial troubles, but now it will remain open for at least one more academic year. But staying open beyond this one year is a bigger question and may require some staffing cuts. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney joins us from the Ann Arbor campus with what leadership says happens from here. It almost seems fitting that the sun is shining so bright on Concordia University's campus this afternoon. As administrators made the announcement, they'll be able to remain open for the 2024-2025 academic year. And while students are breathing a sigh of relief, they say uncertainty still remains. Concordia University students say choosing this school, I just remember I looked at the campus and I thought it was beautiful, was a no-brainer. All of the professors are super inviting and like they actually care about you and same with the coaches. The reason why it stung so much when they learned last Last month that the university's Ann Arbor campus was at risk of closure due to a financial hardship. I was honestly really upset. Uh, I didn't know what to do. I live almost an hour away. I don't have family. Uh, I fell in love with the school really. I couldn't imagine myself anywhere else. It was pretty stressful having to look at like other options like looking for a like, worse scenario, but I'm glad it all worked out and stay with the family I made here. Following a special Board of Regents meeting, the university announced Friday morning they will be able to remain open next school year. In a video message to students and staff, Board of Regents Chair John M. Berg says remaining open will mean staff cuts. However, the university has not yet determined which positions or how many. Additionally, we will begin an intense and focused exploration of the possibility of the Ann Arbor campus seeking to become an autonomous Concordia University. The news a big relief for students. I'll come in here and then having to possibly transfer out is a big thing because especially with sports, you know, scholarships get messed up, you know, you have to make new connections, you're gonna have to relearn the team, you're gonna have to relearn professors and especially with some of our core classes, possibly might not transfer. It's just a big like what if. They say they're now hopeful things will come together for the school years to follow. I'm really excited to see what CUW and CUA have in store for us for the 2025-2026 year. Um, I think CUA is going to be strong and we're going to be all right. A subcommittee to review the university's financial struggles is currently being formed. The university says they are hopeful to share more information on timeline and staffing cuts in the near future. Reporting here in Ann Arbor, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News. Okay, Whitney, thank you.